Hi, my name's Glenn. Welcome to my next project. In this episode, I'm going to squelch the beeper in my treadmill. I just bought this small under desk treadmill. It was only about $250, so I wasn't expecting it to be great. But so far it is, except for this screeching beeper that it has. So when you push a button, it goes beep, which is fine, except it's kind of loud and it has this vibration sound to it, kind of like a speaker's overdriven, kind of like uh, metal ball bearings in an aluminum can, just a zzz, zzz sound. So I uh, took it apart and I wanted to figure out what I could do to squelch it. So let me show you what I did. All right, the first thing I did was unplug it. Now your treadmill may be different than this one, but I think it's gonna be pretty similar. Where the screws are might differ, and where the, the beeper is might differ, but it's gonna look pretty much the same, and it's gonna be on a circuit board like this one is. So let me show you. So you need to take off the screws in order to get access. And this one has one screw on each side. And these two here that just need to be loosened up a little bit. And this whole thing comes off because these screws don't need to come all the way out because of those slides, um, the grooves. These do need to come out. So once again, your treadmill may differ. So once you have the cover off, the inside of your treadmill is gonna look pretty similar to this one. You have your motor, which spins. The belt is connected to the walking belt. We have one circuit board there and one circuit board there. When I first looked, I thought maybe this black thing was the beep, but when I plugged it in and pressed the buttons without touching anything, of course, I heard that the beep was coming from this circuit board. And since I am unplugged, I'm gonna go ahead and touch this. Unscrew one, two, and three screws. So then I just flip this over. That right there is the beeper. And that's the culprit right there. right in the hole of the speaker. Okay, now I know it's filled. Sorry, bad camera work, but I covered the top. All right, now that everything's back together, Plug it in, hit start. Did you hear that? And it works, that's a good sign. All right, well, short and sweet, just like I said, really quick one. In this case, there was two screws to remove and two to loosen to remove the cover. Then there is three screws to remove the circuit board and some hot glue. That's all it took. Put it back together it runs it still beeps but it's much much quieter in fact i can barely hear it in fact when it's on and running i can't hear it beep at all so if you want to hear some beep but not as loud you could always put a little bit of hot glue on the top and and cover the hole but not fill the inside of the hole that would lessen the deadening of it so I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been educational for you. And uh, let's improve our life through removing ugly sounds. Thanks for joining me on my next project. Subscribe so you will be notified when my next episode comes out. Thanks for watching.